What is the value of the expression 9 minus 5? Insert the parentheses, then plus 5 to the power of 2 and multiply by 9 minus 7 insert the parentheses. Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression looks very simple, but only 5% of people can find the correct answer. Let's take a closer look and solve it together. And the first step to solve this question, most people start with the expression inside the first parenthesis and simplify this expression to 4 plus 5 squared multiplied by 9 minus 7 inside the parenthesis. And the next step, they usually move on to the exponent and replace this expression with 4 plus 25 times 9 minus 7 inside the parenthesis. Then they perform the addition between 4 and 25 and simplifying this expression to 29 times 9 minus 7 inside the parenthesis. And the final step, they go for the expression inside the parenthesis and replace it with 29 times 2, which ultimately gives them the answer 58. And without any hesitation, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. But I have to say we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. All right. Now let's go through this question and step by step and solve it together. To solve this question, we must follow the PEMDAS rule step by step. And this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. It means that we need to perform all the operations exactly in order from top to bottom according to the PEMDAS rule. Alright, as you can see on the screen, and this expression, first we have parentheses, then an addition sign, followed by an exponent, then a multiplication, and finally another parentheses. According to the PEMDAS rule, we should always start with the parentheses, since they have the highest priority among all the operations. So, instead of the original expression, we can rewrite it as 4 plus 5 squared multiplied by 2. And the next step, it's time to handle the exponent, because after parentheses, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, we write this expression as 4 plus 25 times 2. And the final step, we need to perform the multiplication between 25 and 2, because multiplication has a higher priority than addition. And this expression simplifies to 4 plus 50, which ultimately gives us the answer 54. That's great. Option B is the correct answer to this question. All right, now let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 24 divided by 2 over 5 multiplied by 20? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's break it down and solve it together. At the beginning of solving this question, many people go straight to the expression 2 over 5 multiplied by 20, which I have highlighted in yellow, because they think multiplication has priority over division. And they say it's easy to simplify 20 with the 5 in the denominator and write this expression as 24 divided by 8, which finally gives them the answer 3. Then, without any hesitation, they immediately say that the correct answer to this question is option B. However, it's not the correct answer to this question. All right, now let me explain a step by step how to solve this expression correctly. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule exactly as I've shown on the screen. It means that we have to perform all the operations in order from top to bottom. All right, as you can see on the screen and this expression, we have one division sign followed by a multiplication sign. It's very important to note that multiplication and division are at the same level of precedence. In this case, the best thing to do is to start from the left side of the expression and move a step by step toward the right. So, we'll start with the expression 24 divided by 2 over 5. Okay, whenever we come across a division sign between two terms, the best thing to do is to apply the KCF rule. And this rule, K stands for keep the first number as it is. C stands for change the division sign to multiplication and F stands for flip the second fraction. So we remove the highlighted part and replace it with 24 multiplied by 5 over 2. Now the number 24 cancels out with the 2 in the denominator and instead of this expression we can write 60 multiplied by 20 which finally gives us the answer 1200. 
Therefore, option D is the correct answer to this question.